Hello, what's happening guys? Uh, it is cold here. How cold is it? Echo, what's the temperature? Right now, it's 13 degrees. Tonight, expect a low of 2 degrees. Yeah, that's cold. So I apologize, my hands are kind of all dry and crusty. Anywho, somebody had mentioned to me a while back, could you run an Arduino off of a single lithium battery. So I've got a 3000 milliamp hour 18650 here in this little homemade battery thing I've homemade. And yes, you'll notice there are tape across the leads because we don't wish to burn the house down. Now here I've got a standard um, Arduino Uno R3 and it's running a simple Larson scanner sketch. So, can we do it? Yes. How are we going to do it? Well, it's not that hard. A couple things to be aware of. You're not going through the USB port, and you're not going in the back door through the barrel jack because you don't like that. Actually, the barrel jack is the way to the 5 volt regulator, and we want to bypass the 5 volt regulator. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go directly to the 5 volt rail. All right, so we'll unplug from our USB power source and we should come over here like this I'm just going to close up our battery compartment and I'm going to flip this over so that my connectors line up in the proper area now it says in the data sheet that the A that I can't I can't speak the Atmega 328P will run on 1.5, 1.8 to 5.5 volts. So a fully charged 18650 should give us 4.2 volts, which should be plenty. So, plug into 5 volt here. Now this is an experiment, so I don't even know if it's going to work. And yes, it works. So, there you have it. Now, the next question to be asked is, how long will it work? Well, it that's going to depend on what the Arduino is doing, you know, what's drawing power. So, what we can do here is we'll bring in a meter. We'll set it for milliamps. And we'll put it in line here. Hold on, I just need something to clip my lead on here. A little piece of jumper will do just fine. Put that back into the 5 volt hole. So, 33 milliamps on a 3,000, that's 3 amp hour battery. What's that going to, what's that going to give us? Uh, let's see. Should give us about 90 hours. So I tell you what, I'm going to let this run. It is right now, uh, let me find my phone and I'll show you the time. No, you can't see that, can you? Let's try it again, shall we? Pretty good. 6.11 p.m. on Monday, January 21st. Now I'm going to take the meter out of the equation. And we'll just go straight again. We already know what our current draw is. Ok, 
Okay, so now it is uh, 6 12 p.m. I will let you know in a couple days how it does. But so that answers the question can you run the Arduino from a single LiPo battery? Yes, you can. With the caveat, you have to bypass the voltage regulator. Now, some of you more technical minded folk out there may say, Well, Professor. You're not taking into account the speed range of the AT328P. Because I get that for every video. You're right. I'm not. Nobody cares. This isn't graduate level electronic engineering. This is guys at home like you and me going, I wonder if I could run this on a battery. Well, yes you can. Like I said, I'll report back in a couple days how long you can. According to our calculations, about 90 hours. All right? All right. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment and share. And don't forget to subscribe. Stay warm out there. Unless you're in Australia, in which case you're in the midst of the biggest heat wave your country's ever had. So, I don't know. Go for a swim. That's it. I'm out. Peace.